Council's composition does not reflect the geopolitical realities of today. The Security Council is still stuck in the immediate aftermath of World War II. It can never be fully effective unless it changes to reflect the realities of the 21st century. It is a no-brainer that the Council's composition does not reflect the geopolitical realities of today. The world has changed, but the Security Council is still stuck in the immediate aftermath of World War II. So when one talks about the Council not being effective or falling short of expectations, one needs to recognize the fact that it can never be fully effective unless it changes to reflect the realities of the 21st century. In fact, I would even venture to say that the more this change gets delayed, the more the danger that we may head towards a more non-functional council. Finally, it is also a fact that sadly, the voice of the Global South gets drowned in the existing international architecture. For instance, I can wager that many of you present here represent organizations that are headquartered in the North, and that very few of you, if at all, would be from organizations headquartered in the developing world. A natural consequence of this is that issues that are of importance to the developing countries take a back seat in the discussions. The world is becoming increasingly volatile, as all of you know, and uncertain for the South. Once again, it is clear that a frozen 1945 invented mechanism is simply unable to articulate the wider concerns of the UN membership. Therefore, when one speaks of the effectiveness of the Council, it is also important to analyze if the voice of the vast majority of developing countries is indeed fairly represented.